Hello everyone, it's Mr. Lurch. We're going to take a look at how to access Essential Elements Interactive. Our books that we use for our lessons are Essential Elements books. And if you look in the upper left hand corner, most of our books say Online Resources Included. If you open your first page, there should be a little card inside of the cover. And on the address on option one, it says myeelibrary.com. So I'm going to type in myeelibrary.com, and it will take us to this website. In the middle, there's a little white box with a cursor blinking. I'm going to look at the very first page and underneath the orange yellow box you should see something that says student activation code. I'm going to type in the code for a trumpet book. Okay, so now that I've typed in my code, I'm going to double check and make sure I put in everything correctly. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now that I hit that, it takes me right to the trumpet book part of Essential Elements Interactive. All right, now I'm going to go back to my EE library to the beginning. Okay, so what happens if your book does not have a code, all right, or if you can't find your code? Okay, you can click My Book Doesn't Have a Code. Okay, and then it says ISBN 13 number. Okay, so the ISBN number is on the back cover of your book. If you look where the barcode is, all the way on the bottom on the right, you should see a ISBN number on the top. So I'm going to type that in. 9780634003202. Okay, and if I submit that, it'll take me to the same place we just were. Now I'm going to go back one more time. Let's say maybe I have an older book and it doesn't even have that number. If you do not have an ISBN 13 number, sometimes there's one that only has 10 digits, okay? And that might be in the same spot near the barcode, or you can even sometimes find the ISBN number on the first page of your book. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. You can see this has every song that's in our book starting from number one, going all the way to the last page. So there are 187 songs in our book. So if I keep clicking this arrow, it will take us over all the way up to song 187. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to click on, let's see, let's click on the first note. All right, if you look, it brings up a little box, and there is a triangle here. That's the play button. So I'm going to click the play button. Number one, the first note. Ready and play. Okay, so you can see it plays the song from our book. That's number one on our first page. Let's try another one. Let's see. Let's go to how about, let's take a look at Skip to My Lou. 42. Skip to My Lou. Okay, so you can see it plays the song for you when you click on 
the name of the song. In the beginning of the song, there are four drum clicks that count you in. So if you count one, two, ready, go, then the song starts. One other thing that you see over here is a little arrow pointing down. If you click on that, 42, skip to Malu. It will take you to another window and you can download the song to your computer and you can also change the playback speed. So if you click download, it will download the song as an MP3 file to your computer that you can play and you can do that on uh, without the internet. And also if you click playback speed, you can slow the song down or speed it up. So let's see. If I click on 0.5, that means it's going to be half the speed, so it's going to be slower. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can change it again. Let's make it... How about, let's make it two times faster. Let's see how much faster that is. Okay, so you can see you can change the speed if you want to make it easier or harder for yourself. You want to make it slower or faster. Now, after I'm done with this window, I need to go back up, and your browser might look a little different. I need to click the back arrow to get back to the window that has all of the other songs on it. There are also some videos. Let's click on this, startup video. It's going to bring the startup video up and show us how to get our trumpet ready. Essential Elements 2000. We are pleased to welcome you into the world of music making with this brief introduction to playing and caring for your trumpet. Be sure you have your instrument so you can follow along with our trumpet student. Before you. Okay, so if you want to uh, need an update on anything about getting your trumpet together and starting it, you can watch that video. There is a little tab here that has additional music. So this is music that's not in our book. All right, so these are extras. If you would like to learn a new song, or maybe you'd want to play a song for a concert or do a solo, these are great songs to pick. So let's, let's say we want to do a duet. I'm going to pick on America Duet Trumpet. And look at that. There it is. Okay, we have America, My Country, Tis of Thee. And it's a trumpet duet. So you, if you and one of your friends in your trumpet group would like to play a duet, this would be a great song to do for maybe for a concert or something. Okay, and if you look, there are a couple other trumpet duets. There's trios. So a trio is for three trumpets. All right, so the, uh, these are duets and trios for trumpets. Let's see what's in the listening library. Okay, so listening library, this also has songs that are not in our book. Okay, so let's take a look. This says MP3. So an MP3, hopefully you know what that is. That's, that's an audio track. All right, so this will come up. Let's take a listen. Okay, so you can see that plays the song when you click on it. Let's see what this is. This is a PDF, so that's going to be a document. Okay, so now we have a listening activity worksheet that you can fill out if you'd like to while you're listening to these songs. Okay, so you'd have to put in the name of the piece, 
the composers who wrote it, how fast or slow is it, and all, a lot of other questions about the, the piece of music. So there's a little bit of options there. Okay, now on the side here, we also have a download button. So if you would like to download the songs onto your computer, or maybe even your phone or tablet, you can click on this little cloud with an arrow, and it will download the songs to your computer. So that way you wouldn't even need to go on the internet if you wanted to listen to the songs. All right, and then there is one last button here. It says CD request. If you would like to request a CD, you can have them send you one at your house. The old books used to have CDs and DVDs with them. They do not come with them anymore, but if you would like to request one instead of having to go on to the internet, you can. So if you click order CD-ROM, it'll ask you to put in your name and your address and your email address if you'd like. You might need to use your parent's name or email for that. Now another one here, it says create audio CD. That goes back to the download part. Okay, that, that means that you could download the songs and then you could burn your own CD on a computer if you'd like. So I hope that helps you in your uh, attempts to get onto my EE library. Uh, obviously this will be different for every instrument, uh, but it will be set up exactly the same way. Thanks for watching.